Hey guys, welcome back to Relatable Girl and welcome back to the Mr. Robot series. Um, in the last video, I covered the first three episodes just all in one. It was kind of rambly and crazy and long. I apologize, but I just wanted to get it all in there. And now we're going to be talking about episode four. So in case you didn't already guess, this is going to be full of spoilers. Please, if you are planning to watch the series, or if you have already watched the first three seasons and you're going to be watching the fourth and you don't want to have spoilers, keep that in mind. Don't watch and don't get mad at me if you don't want to have spoilers because from here on out, there are going to be spoilers. Um, importantly, we are going to, of course, do hoodies up. Now that we have our hoodies in place and we've talked about the spoiler thing, we can start the video. I had forgotten a couple things in that last video just because I was trying to cram three episodes into one. One thing that I really found interesting and fascinating about those first three episodes was the relationship that Elliot ended up having so quickly um, with Olivia. I absolutely loved the idea of him kind of meeting somebody who is so similar to him. And I liked that when he first knew that, you know, he needed to get the key from Olivia, he thought, you know, how am I going to do this? Am I going to like, you know, um, get her addicted to some kind of drug again and blackmail her? Am I going to like take it by force or what and then you know the mr robot side of him stepped in and was very charming and flirted with her and they ended up talking and having this great experience then of course um you know they went home together and after she was asleep he was able to get the key but then we have this moment where she came in to the bathroom where he was like hiding with the key and what would have possibly been a really serious confrontation ended up turning into a surprisingly very subtle and sweet emotional exchange between two very troubled people. So I just wanted to throw in there now that I really loved that. I forgot to mention that before. I thought that was great. I really liked getting to see that side of Elliot and kind of, um, you know, see him have a human connection again for the first time in a while. He's lost so much. He's become such a hard shell of a person that it was nice to see him have that humanity again for a little while. So episode four, Ep episode four is quite different from the three before because in this one, we really don't see much of, you know, White Rose or any of her associates or even like the Dark Army. Like there's little bits about them in here, but it's not as focused on that. This episode is much more focused on Elliot and Darlene. I really enjoyed the uh, um, interactions Darlene had with the man whose car she tried to steal. You know, that conversation that they had in the car where he's talking about all these very sad things that have happened to him. And you can see that she's feeling for him. And, you know, I thought the little twist where she finds out that she had misunderstood almost everything that he said. And that actually things weren't that bad. I thought that was an interesting twist just because it does tell us more about her really than it does about this rando guy in a Santa suit. It shows us that Darlene does see, you know, she sees the feeling side of things far more often than Elliot does, of course. But, you know, she had empathy for this guy that she barely knew and for the wife that she had never met and, you know, the children that he works with and whatever. So I thought that was really interesting. I thought that was a really great like humanization of Darlene. I enjoyed that subplot. I loved the twist that they get back to his house and find out that his car is at the house and that they had just accidentally stolen someone's car. I thought that was great. Um, it was just a tiny bit of humor in a otherwise pretty grim episode. Um, and then we have Dom's storyline. And I know somebody had commented on my last video and asked like how I feel about what they've done with Dom. I, I don't know. I don't know because I loved Dom. Dom was one of my favorite characters before and it's been hard watching her just break down again and again, lower and lower. And I feel like she was such a proud person and you know, she had her faults, but she was so proud before. And when she said to Darlene, you know, like, you've ruined my life, she really meant it. This has ruined her life. 
Um, I felt like her storyline in this particular episode wasn't super necessary. Um, I know that the person in the comment had mentioned, you know, that some people feel like her episode or her storylines aren't needed at all. I completely disagree with that. I think we need to know what's going on with her. I think her presence in the last couple episodes was great. There was so much tension between her and that weird taxidermy lady and like her at home with her mom. This episode, however, I feel like kind of went back downhill from there and just it didn't add a lot to the story. If the little dream sequence that she had had been real, I feel like that would have been super intense and I would have been like, okay, I get it. But the fact that it was a dream sequence, that felt a tiny bit cheap to me. It's one of the only times so far in the show where I was kind of like, uh, did you really? Like, did you need to do that? Like, uh, it kind of felt like cheap tension because it freaked us out and then it wasn't real. I'll be interested to see what they do with her though and I do want them to follow through with her and give her some kind of redemption because this woman has been through so much and um you know she's obviously still thinking about Darlene and I would like to see their storylines come back together somehow if possible. So about Elliot. Elliot has become such a just um, hard shell of a person. Like, that's what I kept thinking. I kept thinking, like, he's just a hard shell. There's so little humanity left in him. And when he's speaking with Tyrell and he's yelling at him and telling him, like, I just used you, I never needed you, whatever, um, it's hard to tell in that moment, in that particular moment, does he really mean that? Is that really true? Does he really not have any feelings? Like, has he always been this way? Or is he saying these things out of um, you know, just snapping or, or, or whatever, but it's not really true. And then you do have this really beautiful human moment where he admits that he knows that their whole like subplot of this episode is probably going to end in them getting killed. And he just really wants a chance to get to tell his sister what's going on and have her get to safety. And we needed to see that. Even if Darlene hasn't gotten to see that yet, we needed to see that. We needed to see that he does love her and care about her. She has done so much for him and he hasn't really appreciated it in the ways that he should. He's taking care of her in his own way. And I think that's where the like loss of communication comes in because he's not super honest with all that he does for her. And he's not, you know, grateful enough outwardly for the things that she does for him. So I loved getting to see that little glimmer of humanity left in him and the fact that, you know, if there's one thing left he can do, it would be to try and warn her to get to safety. Um, I liked that a lot. And then, you know, at the end of the episode, we had this kind of unexpected, like, shootout moment. And Tyrell is wounded. And then we have this, you know this really beautiful cinematography, beautiful writing, beautiful acting in the last like three minutes of this episode because it took that happening for Elliot to realize that there is more humanity left in him, you know, and seeing that happen to Tyrell, especially after him like yelling all this stuff about, you know, I don't really need you, I just used you and whatever. And then in this moment, he's like, wait, no, I don't wanna leave you behind. I don't want you to die. I don't wanna do this. Um, I thought that was a beautiful moment. The acting was really good and the cinematography was just outstanding. And the very last scene of this episode is so spooky and just beautifully shot. And it's moments like that where I'm like, this show is just so good. It's so good. Um, I'm going to be interested to see, of course, what happens in the next episode. And there's a part of me that's like, okay, am I missing something? And Tyrell is actually the other personality. That's not possible though, right? Like that's not possible, I think, because all this time he's been a different person than Elliot, I think. 
right? I mean, that's just me being like really galaxy brain. Like what if Tyrell is actually just another of Elliot's personalities? But I don't think that's possible. I think I'm wrong about that. But I'm just throwing it out there just in case. And I, I, I highly doubt that's true, but I'm just throwing it out there. So anyway, these are my rambly thoughts about this episode. Um, I was definitely really hooked as always. I'm gonna be super interested to see what happens next. Um, I really hope that they are able to have some kind of speculative fiction element to this. Like I said in the video before, I wanna see a time machine or an alternate reality thing. Like I want this to happen so badly, but I also just desperately want these characters, these couple of characters that are left to get some kind of good ending. They have been through so much. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you thought of episode four in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next week to do this again. Hoodies up. We're going to keep talking about this show until it's over. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, you should do it now. I'm going to have these in a playlist so you can watch them all together. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you back here for the next, the next episode. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.